Hey, welcome to this radio video and um, I'm gonna talk today about beacons once again but this time a different kind of beacon um, they are the Northern California DX Foundation uh, IARU beacons and they are peppered through the world here's one of them This one was from South Africa. So uh, these beacons transmit on a very tight 10 second uh, schedule that is revolving and always uh, changing. So you've got uh, a series of beacons on the air and they have their own little schedule depending on the frequency you're listening to. And for that, I um, want you to go and check the uh, link I put in the notes with this video. Uh, go and check there and click on, on the left side on beacon status. And you'll see the list of beacons, the frequencies, and the times that they transmit on. So, um, for example, the first one on the list is 4U1UN. And it tells you that, for example, on 28200, I should receive that beacon at uh, the 48th second all of these broadcast um, typically in a revolving schedule that lasts uh, a total of three minutes and every three minutes uh, the beacons restart so the list starts again now it's a little difficult to understand maybe at the start but it's a great way to brush up on your Morse code to try to ID these beacons, first of all. Uh, having a very accurate clock is important because these beacons are very precise on their times of transmissions. Uh, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, there's a app that actually makes you follow the beacon. So here you see this app. It's telling me which beacon is transmitting on 28200 right now. So you can follow these beacons and uh, it's easier of course with an app like this one. Uh, I believe there's an Android app if you have an Android tablet or phone. And uh, or else, well, just click on the uh, website that I uh, put in the notes with my, uh, my notes and uh, you'll be uh, sent to the website uh, for these beacons. You'll have the list and the times of transmission. Uh, why these beacons are on air is because there are several beacons peppered throughout the world like I said. They are there to actually help you understand what part of the world is actually um, propagating on a certain frequency. So for example, this one that you just heard is South Africa. Now I know that 10 meters is open to South Africa, for example. So it gives you an idea of what countries around the world, what areas of the world you can hear stations from. They operate on five different frequencies. There's 14.100. And of course, try to put yourself in CW mode. You can also try 18.110. There's 21.150. As you see here, the beacon just transmits its uh, call letters in Morse code. And the tones that you heard is three tones and different powers. Uh, something like one watt, 100 milliwatts or it's something like that 10 I don't remember exactly what what the, the powers are yeah it's 10 watts 1 watt and 100 milliwatts so uh, the first tone is at 10 watts then it's at 1 watt and then 100 milliwatt so for example here so they ID in Morse code then they send the three tones and 10 1 and 
uh, 100 milliwatts and so this schedule revolves it's not the same it, it well it's all the same stations from around the world on all these frequencies but they're not all at the same time so meaning that if you're hearing for example South Africa that I heard on 10 meters on the other frequencies it's a different station because each station transmit only uh, at one frequency at a time and uh, you can also get them on 24 dot 9.30 and finally 28.200 uh, it's a fun thing to try and pick up these beacons because you uh, know not only from where in the world propagation is working but it's also cool to uh, you know hear these low power beacons from different areas of the world um, imagine 10 watts is not a lot and for example, on 10 meters I was hearing South Africa, so you can imagine that only 10 watts makes it from South Africa all the way up to here in Canada. It's pretty cool. So uh, check the page and um, the page will also let you know uh, which beacons are off air, which ones are still on air, because there are beacons sometimes that are off air temporarily. So. Um, it's something interesting to check for. So uh, why not tune around and try to find them if possible. Sorry for the phone here. Uh, try to uh, you know find them and um, try to uh, ID. If you don't uh, know Morse code, it's uh, one of the great ways to uh, kind of you know brush up and learn a little bit more code it's gonna be uh, an interesting way you can also decode with your computer or some electronic devices uh, if you want to you know have it easy you can use your computer to code the uh, Morse code if you want but um, try try it by ear it's always uh, interesting so that you can uh, you know listen with your uh, little portable receiver outdoors sometimes and try for beacons and you'll actually be able to ID by listening by ear. So uh, try that. Once again the frequencies to listen to um, 28 24.930 21.150 18.110 and 14.100 there aren't any of these beacons um, in below 20 meters to so below 14 megahertz but they are fun to try and pick up so uh, good luck in uh, listening to these beacons and of course uh, keep your radio on the frequency if you don't hear nothing like now it doesn't mean you won't hear anything at all Remember that it's a revolving schedule that lasts three minutes and that every three minutes the list of these beacons are restarts. So uh, listen at least three minutes in time so that you know which uh, frequency, which uh, beacon you'll hear because uh, some of them you'll hear, some of them you won't. And some of them are off air, like presently, for example, uh, on the list that I have here, there's two beacons that are off air, um, Sri Lanka and United Nations. But all the rest seem to be okay uh, and working. Uh, some depend on the time. There are some beacons that operate on a schedule. So uh, good luck in listening to those. And uh, if you are looking at what app I'm using, um, on my iPhone it's called uh, Beaconade it's HFDX um, I don't remember if it's free or paid um, but if you have an iOS device like an iPhone or an iPad I think it's worth it uh, even if it's you know like 99 cents or something I think it's worth it to download it makes much easier understanding what beacon is on the air right now so I uh, hope that you'll try for those and uh, 73.